Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. And in this video, we are going to see how can you create an integer type of asset. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a Boolean type of asset using the orchestrator HTTP request. So let's see how to configure it. Now the very first thing, select the folder we would, where you would like to create the asset. So for me, I would like to create in the shade folder. So I have selected that. Now to create, anytime you would like to create, the method that you need to select is post. Okay. Now let's get the endpoint and let's get the JSON payload. Now to do that, as I have taught you previously, all you have to do is open the swagger by using this link. And simply type swagger forward slash index.html. And the other thing that you need is postman dot uipath dot rocks okay so these are the two things keep it open now let's go to assets click on asset create and from here i'm going to copy the endpoint let's paste it in the relative endpoint within double quotes let's go back again and scroll down and let's copy this body to a notepad I'm going to paste this body into the notepad. Here we have to create the integer type of asset. Now to understand what to type there, all you do, click on add asset, create a new asset. And here you see how it is written. I capital N T E G R. Exactly you have to written, you have to write in the JSON payload. So let me remove it and write it exactly integer okay so this is done now we don't need string value it has to be an integer value right so let's remove this let's see what is the key to create an integer value from the swagger so scroll down and go to assets and here post o data assets create an asset once you expand this here you need to look for int value so this is the key okay int value so you have to pass this key in the json payload i'll go here and type int value colon and whatever value you would like to pass let's say i would like to pass uh, let's say 10 okay this is what i would like to pass and everything has to be in single quote in the json now let's look at if you create a integer generally integer kind of a asset what are the things it is asking it is asking for integer it is asking for the asset name right description and all of that let's say you would like to also add a description all you need to do copy the uh, def, you know key for that so look look for the description so here it is okay this is the key description again copy it go to the json payload pretty simple comma and here i will say description and use a colon mark and whatever description you would like to give so for example i would say this is a test this is a test int asset creation so whatever you like to give so everything is done now let's quickly remove this double quotes that is there everywhere and the values have to be kept in single quote everywhere okay so let's remove all the double quotes first of all let's give it an asset name so here on my assets let me check what is the last asset that i created what is the name i have given so i think i had given test 8 so let it let's name it as test 9 test 9 and let's keep it in single quote so all you have to do is keep everything in single quote okay all these values has to be kept in a single quote and all you need to know the right type of value type that you need to pass and also the value int value you have to write the key called int value and pass the value here and for the description key you are passing something so that's all now the next thing is you have to have it in a single line because if you put it in this kind of a format then you will get error in your you have a studio so better you remember you know, hit on delete so this has to be kept in single line so let me remove the word wrap okay so i've got everything in the single line ensure you are not missing any single quote you are not missing any commas and all of that okay the keys are left as it is and the values will be quoted in single quote that's it that's it so let's copy this entirely till the end 
So I have copied everything. Let's go to the orchestrator HTTP request. Here I'm going to click on this button and within double quotes, I'm going to paste it. Pretty simple. Now let's have a look how it is appearing. So I've got the name of the asset test nine. Value scope is global. Value scope means what? When you are creating the assets, here you have a asset value global to set to global, right? Now sometimes you will have a question, what if I would like to pass it per robot or per user? So how to do that? We will see it later. But for the moment, we will set it to global value, okay? That is the meaning, global value. And then um, value type integer, integer value I'm passing 10, description, this is a test in asset creation all in single quote values are in the single quote and the keys doesn't have any quote okay done so let's save it everything is done let's run and see if it is creating a test nine asset or not let me run this okay you can see the execution has started and the execution completed so let's go to orchestrator here you can see the test nine asset got created with a description and the value the type is integer and the value is 10 we can also open and see this and you can see the test nine asset got created with the required value so you learned how to create a text uh, integer type of asset so you have learned how to create an integer type of asset using the orchestrator http request so let's move on to our next topic and see what is the new topic coming in?